Hello dear students, today we are going to start the chapter exponents and uh, radicals and I hope uh, you have watched the videos in which we did an activity on visualizing exponents. So in your previous class, you have studied about exponents of rational numbers and their laws. So let us recall exponents of rational numbers and their laws. So what are rational numbers? Yes, rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in the form p by q where both p and q are integers and q that is the denominator is not equal to 0. So this is the definition of a rational number. Now let us recall if any rational number is given to be a. So I am assuming a as a rational number and this rational number is specifically a non-zero rational number. So I am writing here Please uh, take down notes in your notebook. For any non-zero rational number A, we define A raised to the power 0 as 1. So any non-zero rational number raised to the power 0 will give us 1. For example, if you have a rational number, say for example, minus 3 upon 2. So, minus 3 upon 2 raised to the power 1 will, 0 will give us 1. Let us take one more example. 2 upon 3 raised to the power 0 is 1. So, this is the first law. Now, let us take A, which is a non-zero rational number, and N as a positive integer. So, I am writing this is the first point which we have recalled. Now, the second point. Let A be any non-zero rational number. And n be a positive integer. We did a discussion on positive integers. Positive integers meaning we are talking about natural numbers. So we define a raised to the power minus n. What is a? a is a non-zero rational number. Raised to the power minus n is written as 1 upon a raised to the power n. Right? So, this is when we have integral exponent. Then we do the calculations by writing the reciprocal. Okay. Now, the third one. Third one is let a and b. Let a and b be any two rational numbers and m and n be integers. So, we are taking a and b as rational numbers and m and n as integers. Then in this case, in your uh, previous class, you have studied, let me write down those laws. That a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n. Second, a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power mn. And we can write this as a raised to the power n raised to the power m. Right, it is one and the same thing. Third one is 
a upon b raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power n upon b raised to the power n. Fourth is a raised to the power m upon a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m minus n provided here in the denominator a should not be equal to 0. Now the fifth one is a b raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power n b raised to the power n. This you have already done in your class 7. So now in class 8 we will be studying about rational numbers as exponents. Here you know m and n are integral exponents. They, these are the integers. We took them as integers. And now we are talking about rational numbers as exponents. So let us begin. So this is the uh, first topic of uh, the class. You can write it down. Topic 1 for class 8 is rational numbers as exponents. Okay. Okay, now you tell me, you have studied the chapter squares, square roots, cubes, cube roots in depth, right? And in that chapter, you have studied that if we are given 4 square, we write it as 4 square is 16 and we, we can write it as under root of 16 is equal to 4 or I, I can say like this 4 square is 16 or under root of 16 is equal to 4. So how, how do we read this? We, we read in mathematics we read it as 4 raised to the power 2 or how do we read this 4 square 4 square so 4 raised to the power 2 is 16 or we say that 4 squared is 16 and here if we see this expression root 16 is equal to 4. How do we re read this? We say square root of 16 is 4. Right? So, we can write now square root of 16 in terms of exponents. Now, we are trying to express square root of 16 in terms of exponents. So, we can write this as 16 raised to the power 1 by 2. And interestingly, if we solve this, see, how do you write 16? 16 is 4 square. This is raised to the power 1 by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, we are left with 4. Interesting. So, this is how we express square root of 16 in terms of exponents and you know that 1 by 2 is a rational number. So, here we say that 16 is the base and 1 by 2 is the exponent. I am writing this again. Okay, I am writing this again. So, if I write 16 raised to the power 1 by 2, so there are two parts. We say 16 is the base and we say this 1 by 2 is the exponent. Is it clear? Now, you tell me one more thing. Let, let us uh, move forward. What is cube of 2? How do you read this? 2 cube. 2 cube is 8. 
we write this as 8 cube root cube root of 8 is 2 right so cube root of 8 is 2 and how do you express cube root of 8 we write cube root of 8 as 8 raised to the power 1 by 3 where 8 is the base and 1 by 3 is the exponent. So you see here also we are getting 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 is a rational number. So this is a rational exponent. So interestingly we see over here that if a be a positive rational number, uh, let me write it down. You also please keep writing in the notebook. If a be any positive rational number and m be an integer and n is a natural number n is a natural number then a raised to the power m upon n now you see a is a rational number that is a positive rational number m is integer it can be positive it can be negative but n here is a natural number. So we write a raised to the power m by n as nth root of a raised to the power m. How do we write this? We write it as nth root of a raised to the power m. Now we will be understanding what are these terms called as. Here a raised to the power m is called as radicand. Nth root of a raised to the power m is called radical. Just try to add on this into your math vocabulary. Nth root of a raised to the power m. How, how we are reading this? I am writing it. Nth root of a raised to power m is the radical and n is the index and this sign this symbol this symbol is the radical sign i hope it is clear please uh, note it down what is a raised to power m a raised to power m is called the Radicand, nth root of a raised to power m, we call it as radical and n is called index and this symbol, you have already studied this symbol, this is called radical sign. Okay, so now we are going to do some uh, questions. And we will be using this knowledge. So the first question which we are doing, going to do today is express the following in the exponential form. Try to understand exponential form. How do we express in the exponential form? So let us take one example. Square root of 7. Quickly tell me how you are going to write it. Very simple. 7 raised to the power 1 by 2. Let us take one more example. Cube root of 21. How we will write this? 21 raised to the power 1 by 3. Okay. Let us do the third part. Cube root of 576. How we will write this? 576 raised to the power 1 by 3. Let us do one more. Eighth root of 7 upon 5. 
how you will write this 7 upon 5 raised to the power 1 by 8 this is how we express in the exponential form i hope this question is clear to you okay let us take another question express the following as radicals what do we mean by this i am writing the question express the following as radicals so that means here we are given the expression like 5 raised to the power 1 by 3. How you will write it in the radical form? Very nice. We will take index 3. So this is cube root of 5. Right? And radicand is 5. Perfect. Now take one more example. 17 raised to the power... 2 by 5. So, what is the? Yes, this is, we can write this as 17 square raised to the power 1 by 5. Now, you can easily write it down. So, this is 5th root of 17 square. Right, so 5, this is the 5, this is the index, it will come over here. So, we read it as 5th root of 17 square. Let us do one more example. And here uh, the question is, 12 upon 19 raised to the power 3 upon 5. So, how you will write this? First, we will write it as 12 upon 19 raised to the power 3, raised to the power 1 by 5. We are, see, splitting this 3 by 5 as 3 into 1 by 5. And 3 is the power of this, 12 by 19, and whole raised to the power 1 by 5. So, this will become 5th root of 12 upon 19 cube. So, practice such questions or uh, for... Uh, expressing the given number in the radical form right so now i will be giving you one question and you need to express in the exponential form express in exponential form let us quickly do this. This is fifth root of 35. Tell me first. 35 raised to the power 1 by 5. Okay. Next is 11th root of 27 square. How we will write this? Yes, 27 square raised to the power 1 by 11. And this gives us 27 raised to the power 2 by 11. Interesting. Okay, let me take up another one. This is 7th root of 11 by 3. How we will express this in exponential form? 11 by 3 raised to the power 1 by 7. Okay, let, let us take one more. See, maths is so interesting. This is cube root of 2 upon 5 raised to the power minus 3. So, we can write it as 2 upon 5 raised to the power minus 3 raised to the power 1 by 3. 3 and 3 gets cancelled and we get this as 2 upon 5 raised to the power minus 1. I hope uh, uh, this is uh, clear to all of you. Now, in the next class, we will be discussing about Positive rational numbers as exponents and negative rational numbers as exponents.